ordered no prisoners. He was a king among his people. This is his family. On your knees before your lord and my lord. <laughs> What is your name? Ildiko. Ildiko. Release her. Let her join my wives. Have mercy. Have mercy. Kill these others. <laughs> Why must they die? I do not understand these Christians. An enemy who remains alive is always an enemy. Unless it be a woman. If she bears me a son, she shall be my favorite wife. My father will soon have as many sons as he has horses. He has more wives than any other king. These Romans have a strange custom. They take but one wife. A good wife can be all things to a man. Or he can marry 400 times and not find one good one among them. How can a man know which wife is best unless he selects from among many? <laughs> Drink with me, my Roman, to my victories. I would drink to your victories, but not to your massacres. As a soldier, I can kill. But to let the blood of peaceful people run without cause. But I have a cause. The more I am feared, the easier grow my conquests. And that is how your great Roman Empire was built. You conquered tribes and small nations and bound them to you and grew great. I use only what I learned when Rome held me hostage. Held me to force my father to do your empire's bidding. I was a boy. An unconsidered trifle, now grown up to conquer and command. Yet there are many things we may still learn from Rome. There is, as an instance, the Roman art of warfare. We would learn what you can teach us of it. I, I am a mere centurion. There's little I could teach Attila. A few simple drills, perhaps. A mere centurion. But one of the Imperial Guard and a trusted envoy. You can show us much. In the morning we will begin.